Well, welcome to a place you spent some time. Thank you, sir. I, I have, uh, the fireplace never been on when I've been in here. I tell you what, I have it on all the time. <laughs> it's kind of humbling walking in here. Absolutely. I mean, for real. I had my brother Jimmy come in and, you know, pick the rug and the desk and all that stuff. And uh, make a long story short, I come walking in like 5 o'clock on Inauguration Day, and I walked in, I said, geez, I said, I've never seen Franklin Roosevelt. I, I'm an admirer, but yeah. there's always George Washington's small portrait there. Right. And Abraham Lincoln and, and uh, John Meacham, the president's historian, Jimmy had called him for some help. And he looked and he said, because no one's ever inherited a world economy in as much disarray as he had. <laughs> and I said, oh, that's wonderful. There you go, that tracks. And, and, yeah. and then I said, well, why Lincoln? He said, the country's never been as divided since Lincoln was president. But what I did was I wanted to be able to sit here at my desk and look out. And I only had two political heroes when I was getting involved. That fellow over there, Martin Luther King and Bobby Kennedy. I, I was a great admirer of John Kennedy, but I could never picture John Kennedy at my kitchen table. I could kind of picture maybe. And then the two people who I got involved and engaged with was Cesar Chavez, yeah. because I got not involved, but I supported verbally the farm workers union. They were trying to organize in Delaware when I was running as a 29-year-old kid. And his granddaughter works for me. And then Rosa Parks, who's over here. And uh, so I tried to, I tried to make it kind of warm like uh, I thought about it. Now, the other guy never showed up on uh, Inauguration Day, so I didn't have to <laughs> worry about it. But it's kind of neat. And the things I've done in here, like, for example, I the moon rock over here. All right, I'm a huge NASA fan, a big astronomy fan. Oh, are so you this is very oh, cool. Well, this is cool. That's an actual moon rock. Wow. And one of the, you know, that rover they have up there. Yeah. Uh, my name is on the back with other presidents. Oh, uh, that's cool. It's really okay. cool. But I want to show you something really cool. Come on back here. All right. Not many people come back this way, but come on in. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Not only are we seeing the Oval Office, we're also getting a rare tour of the president's private study. This is like the world's most dignified episode of MTV Cribs. By the way, that is a Wyeth painting of, by Jamie Wyeth, the son. And I, he told me the Kennedy family didn't like him because it made him look too contemplative. Oh, but he's got I, a smile. I know, I think it's, it's great. But anyway, and that's the house I was raised in in Scranton. That's awesome. Wow. Or as they say, Scranton. Scranton. So I went and spoke at the Kennedy Library a couple yeah. of times. The last time I spoke there, I get handed this by Caroline Kennedy. And it's that famous letter he wrote. Wow. And this is the actual copy. And it's, you know, why am I going? We chose to go to the moon in this decade because that goal will serve the origins of measure by the best of us. And it goes on and on. Well, that's, I mean, the, the um, just even that top line, no prejudice, no hate in outer space. Bingo. I, I don't know if you have any tattoos. I've got some from the NASA Voyager, which was launched in 77. I mean, the, <laughs> the golden record, which had, you know, science, yeah. music, art, yeah. but no politics, no war, no yeah. religion, none of the things that divide us. And so it's just the, the idea of hope through exploration. Unfortunately, before the president showed me all of his tattoos, it was time to go. Thanks. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate your time, and thank you so much for the stories and the, the Oval Tour.